Hello. Uh, in this video, I'll show you how to create a question of this type in Maple TA. And uh, it is really easy actually if you use a special extension to Maple TA, which is called Maple Q. Look at this first. I'm going to do the question in Maple. Uh, I'm going to do inputs, which will be a list of these numbers. I need to offer my students. Negative 16 plus 30 times i and 24 plus 70 times i. Okay, these are the inputs. Let's we'll just say w will be one of these inputs. Okay, my equation is this z square equal w. That's the one which I'm solving. This is a solution, right? So if I solve this equation for z. That's the solution. It looks a bit ugly because it's like a list within list. You can always clean this by doing something like this. Map x1. Yeah, if you do this, the output of Maple will look nicer. Yeah, and the last bit which I need is a verification function. So uh, if I say if my answer is the answer of a student. How do I verify that? I do it like this, right? I do, I take, let's call it A rather than S. How do I do that? I take the first element of my answer. I is equal subs actually. I substitute this into equation and I see if this is evaluates to true. Yeah. And then I have to substitute the second one and copy this entire thing and uh, second root which is 2 and uh, I need to make sure that my roots are different yeah this is the sort of a response so if my a is response which is just here right hand side That's the correct response. That's true. Beautiful. So if I convert this into a function, we have, say, the function u a this, I can apply this function to verify a student response. I can use this function to verify a student response. Okay. Now I'm going to transfer this uh, to Maple T. Look at this. This is my Maple TA. I have this dummy question, which I open for editing. Now I'm going to engage this extension, Maple Q, which opens the editor. And I'm going to transfer now my question into this extension first. I'm going to transfer the Maple code. So I take my inputs. Inputs. I take my W value. Take my W value, I take my equation, and I, this is the one which reproduces the answer. I just want to make this shorter, so I just retype this into the way it's supposed to be. So it will be uh, x goes into right hand side of x1. Yeah, this is a shorter version of the same function. Okay, so we good to go. Uh, let's just let me type the question uh, square root of of complex number. Now the content is solve the following equation, and the equation is actually this. So this eq referencing this line in Maple code. And here's a subtitle, I say answer, and that's, that's a chance for student to enter answer. Special command, input, which accepts student's answer. And inside this command, we say two things. First, we say what's the correct answer is, and second, we engage this. All right, I didn't copy this function, I just copy this function. That's a function of it which actually verifies student response.
here. It's a function which takes a into this expression. So in here will be the f of student response. That's the function which will verify response. We just give I will just give students some hints. No. Um, uh, enter two solutions as maple list. This is because the f function it uh, expects uh, a maple list. Use complex use use i to type imaginary imaginary unit i. Full we'll stop. Type enter two solutions as maple list. Use i to type imaginary unit. Let's just see preview. This is a preview of my question. Look at this. Square root of the complex number. Solve the following equation. Answer. Enter two solutions as maple list. Use i to type imaginary number. Let's just try this. So let's just try taking this correct response and copy it here. Great. Correct. It's perfect. Now we just uh, go, let's go back. Let's just see if it really checks things correctly. Just change this. Let's just say three rather than two, and we just try to grade this one. Incorrect. Okay, so it looks like the question is functioning correctly. Now we just add some randomness. Introduce this index, which is a range one three, and then here we will choose W one of these three inputs. And now we're completely done. This is a completely randomized question, which offers students three different right hand sides and expects two solutions entered as maple list. I click save and close. I can click save and close, and the question is fully done. I click save and close and that's the complete question right here inside Maple TA. Thank you for watching. See you next time.